What's up guys, today we're going to talk about two MongoDB operators, dollar $in and not $in. So in relational databases, when we have to query for a particular column that can have many different values, we use the $in operator. Similarly, in MongoDB, we have the dollar $in operator to achieve the same. So let's see how to use dollar $in operator in MongoDB. So I'm going to start the MongoDB database server on the default port 27017. So it's saying waiting for connections on port 27017 so let's connect to this using mongo client let's see how many databases we have show dbs cme core and cme provisioning so i'm going to use cme provisioning cme provisioning let's see how many collections we have inside the database so we have icd equivalence phase phase position profile prime report and study so let's see how many documents we have inside the rhyme report collection so we can do a count on that db dot rhyme report dot count so we have 5993 documents inside rhyme report collections let's see one of them db dot rhyme report dot find one let me drag this down so we can see the document properly so this document has a lot of fields. Now what we are interested in is this phase field, which is having the value Mansa1 for this document. Let's see what are the distinct values for the phase field in the rhyme report collections. So we can do that using db dot rhyme report dot distinct on phase field. So this will give us all the distinct values for the phase field in the rhyme report collection so these are the distinct values for the phase field now suppose we are interested on only mansa values so let's suppose we want to find out all the documents where the value of the phase field is either mansa1 or mansa2 or mansa3 or mansa4 we can do that using dollar in operator so let's see how to do that db dot rhyme report dot find find and that will be on the phase field so we are interested in the phase field and here we're gonna specify dollar in because the value will be either mansa1 or mansa2 or mansa3 or mansa4 that's why we have to use an array to specify those values mansa1 mansa2 and mansa3 and mansa4 let's close this array and then this document so here we are saying give me all those documents where the value of the phase is either mansa1 or mansa2 or mansa3 or mansa4 so rather than doing a find let's do a count on that because the value of the number of documents is very large so let's do a count on that so we have 1973 documents in the rhyme report collections where the value of the phase field is either mansa1 or mansa2 or mansa3 or mansa4 and you can do just opposite of that so suppose you are interested is in only those documents where the value of the phase field is other than mansa1 or mansa2 or mansa3 or mansa4 so we can do that using not in so we have to just change here rather than using in we can use the not in which is nin and this will give us all the documents where the value of the phase field is neither mansa1 nor mansa2 nor mansa3 and nor mansa4 so this is 4020 and if you do a count on that, this will be the total number of documents we have uh, in the Rhyme Report collections. So this is how we can use the dollar in operator and not in operator to specify uh, the value of a field as an array of the values, distinct values. So hope this helps. Cheers and.